Okay, so here's a QuickTime movie that I recorded on my iPhone. It's a demo of the Sanyo Exacti interface, and you can see that also on videodogs.com. Now, you'll notice that the image is flipped, so what we want to do is um, flip it back so that it's visible. Okay, so here's a QuickTime movie of a demo that I recorded using my iPhone, and it's a demo of the Sony. Ex so here's a demo. So here's a QuickTime movie of a demo that I did of the Sanyo Exacti uh, et trimming interface, and uh, when I recorded it with my iPhone, I had the phone flipped over. So now what we want to do is flip the movie back so that we can see it properly. Now if you look online they, there are a lot of tips that advise you to use a uh, Windows Movie Maker and and convert it to an AVI as an intermediary. That's a pretty bad idea I think when, when we're dealing with something like MPEG-4. We really don't want to re-encode anything because it would take too much of a quality hit because it's a highly compressed format. What we really want to do is instead of reading the pixels out starting here and ending up down here, what we want to do is read the pixels out starting here and ending up here. So this is really just a, a flag. Um, and Now in QuickTime Pro we have um, a nice little feature under window here uh, to show movie properties. You'll see that you can inspect the container and the streams that are inside of it. So QuickTime is just a container for these for this video track and this and this soundtrack. And you can see that the video is H.264 and the and the Apple standard on the iPhone of course is uh, AAC. Um, so what we want to do is look at this video stream and go into visual settings and you'll see um, we get here the uh, the size and we also have the opportunity to rotate it by 90 degrees or to flip it and uh, in the vertical and the and the horizontal direction so what we'll do is um, if we flip it horizontally you'll notice that it's backwards so now we gotta flip it vertically and uh, I'm going to say high quality even though I don't think it's going to change anything and um, now we're going to close this box and so you see that we have the image oriented in the proper direction now I'm going to save this as um, a new movie and I'm going to put it in the video dogs uh, content uh, directory which is called video dogs content and I'm going to call this. Um, uh, I'm going to call this Exacti demo. And you'll notice that um, it's going to save it as a self-contained movie. It's 190 megabits. And if we were re-encoding this, it would take quite a while. But since we're just saving it, it's just going to take as much time as it needs to save uh, 190 megabytes from one disk to another, which is pretty fast and really that's all you have to do. It's a nice quick way of of uh, correcting any problems that you might have if you shoot um, with your iPhone either maybe in portrait mode or if you have, have it turned up upside down altogether. And so here you see the, um, the final movie and um, this is the demo that you'll see. This is the demo that you're gonna see on Video Dogs. It's a demo of um, how to trim movies using the exacti. Okay, that's it for this little tip.